Hello, mag modelers. Because apparently that's our new saying from Doug if you watched our last video. <laughs> mag fans. Mag fans, here we go. So this is another product video on the beer barrel. So we wanted to give you a little bit more information on the beer barrel. And I've just noticed something in this box that I want. So you just talk to me a second. Okay, so uh, yeah, Ian was the main designer for the beer barrel. It's not actually based off a real, real building. Majority of our catalog is all from real buildings. So we've got like the Reams Hospitality, um, and a, re, the Marshall Huts, and a lot of the buildings, what the Bathurst building, yeah. and we, they're all based on real life products, real life um, real structures out there. But this was, I think Ian just had a random epiphany as he woke up and thought, ah, I'll make a beer barrel, well, I think. I will let Ian explain on that one. Ian's probably more likely I've had a few beers. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I just wanted to make something a bit more, a bit more wacky, a bit more fun. Um, you know when you go to a theme park like um, what's it called in Florida? What's that place called? Um, place. Many of them. Disney World. Disney World. That's it. Disney World. <laughs> How I, do I, I forget I, I Disney. Know. Well, I was going to say Fort Park, but then I thought <laughs> most of the world's not going to know Fort Park is probably the best theme park Alton in Towers? England. Alton Towers. Uh, they might know Alton Towers, uh, yeah. but then I then I yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Do you know when you go to a theme park um, and you 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 buy some donuts, but the donut stall is a great big donut. So, um, what I wanted to do was some. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I had another thought. Oh, uh, what? A donut, yeah. you, yeah. buying a donut from a donut <laughs> store. A donut buying a donut. Okay, so I need a little figure that's a little donut, man. <laughs> With a donut on the t shirt. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, yeah, so basically. <laughs> oh, these get worse. Oh, it's so bad. So, yeah, so basically I thought, well, it'd be really cool to have a beer barrel where you're buying a beer from a beer barrel. Um, so here it is. I also wanted to experiment with trying to get a bit more shape into our buildings. Mm. Um, so this was a good opportunity for me to, to try and get that round barrel effect um, without it being all covered in nodes and covered in support structures to make it round. Um, so yeah, this was what I've come up with. It was, um, you've got your beer barrel. We've got, um, Lots of refreshment things. We've got like the refreshment hut. We've got a couple of containers. We've got the Rick's Grill. We've got the Dulux Cafe. That's one of um, our most popular ones. That yeah, Dulux very Cafe. Popular, yeah, yeah, really popular. So I just wanted something in that range that was a bit more fun. So here it is. Just like the cafe, if you brought that one already, the actual main building comes separate to the baseboard. Because again, we always we know that a lot of you are very space limited. is limited, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Um, you've probably seen some pictures on our site. I'll put one up in front of Doug's face where uh, we put it on our track at Williams, where Doug took the, the floorboard oh, away. Yes, and, and just... on the grass in between the trees, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. And I put the benches that we'll talk about that will come with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, in between the trees. Mm -hmm. And it, it actually looked almost like a completely different building. Yes. Because where it stands on this wood, it, it, um, it's, yeah, it's like it's uh, part of a, on a concrete or yep. a wooden floorboards. But when I took it off and put it in the grass in the bushes, mm -hmm. it looked almost like a completely different product. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite good. different. Yeah, it's cool. Um, quite a few things to talk about with this one. So it does come with a few optional extras. So you get two signs. You get this one that says the beer barrel. If you want to change that, you can. Um, but that's it. But you also get an extra sign that's Bud Light because um, my favourite drink when we go to Vegas is a Bud Light. Um, <laughs> And I like the blue and white, so we there we go. And it just sits on there very nicely. So you have Bud Light, mm. or you can have the beer barrel. So both of those come in the kit. If you don't want either of those, you just turn this one around and, and around. put your own sign on the other yeah. side. So it's all Budweiser or something. Yeah, red. yeah, very. Yeah, someone painted it red and white, didn't they? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lance in Australia. Ah. Um, I'll put a picture again, yeah, um, just to show you that. But yeah, I'm really excited to see some other colours. Um, mm. if, uh, is it Holston Pills? That's Holsten yellow. Pills. So Holsten yeah, Pills. yellow and yeah. white one might be cool. Yeah. I've um, always wanted to do the whiskey bar. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it on another, another video. Okay. But I've just wanted to lacquer the wood. Yes. If you just lacquer the wood without any paint or anything, mm -hmm. you get a real cool wood effect, especially with some of the uh, burn lines that you naturally get with laser cut um, wood. Yeah. Yeah. When you when you just varnish it or lacquer it, it looks really cool. And a few extra X marks, you can make it look like actually like a proper old school whiskey bar. Uh, that would be cool. That'd and that's all really the cool. metal straps and. Yes. Yeah. Um, again, we, we love people being able to do their own thing with products. So what I've done with this one as well is at the back, you've got these side doors. Now in the kit, you get several doors. So you could have it like I've got here. We've got toilets on either end. Um, it also comes with a, like a staff only door and it even comes with a first aid door. So it could be 
a beer barrel <coughs> to have your beers, and then the first aid hut when you've fallen over and you've broken your wrist and you've had too many beers. Yeah. Um, and then inside, we know people love to light their buildings up, mm. and it can be awkward sometimes. So inside, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I will put a picture up. There's a, there's a deliberate wrap there with six holes in for LEDs. Mm. You probably don't need six. Um, <laughs> and they come in various sizes, those holes, so you can put different size LEDs in there. I know the holders for LEDs come in different mm. sizes. So on that note, sorry, we are going to do a video on wiring, aren't yes. we? And lights, our track lights that we have. Yeah. And then what we'll do within that video, we can talk about LEDs and we'll show the holders yeah. and what we use when we're doing it as part of ThinkScale Electric. Yes. And um, how to wire them all up. So, and that will work well in pretty much all our buildings. Absolutely. Yeah. And then inside the building, the, um, the wires very easily go over this back wall. Um, and then there are some dividing walls as part of the internal structure. They've got holes in for your wires as well. So you're not having to get your drill out to make a hole for the wire to go to here, to here. Um, so it's all, all comes really easy for you to light up as well mm. if you want to. Now outside of the building, so we've got a few, um, few fun things here. The, th the kit comes with a figure, this guy holding a bottle. Um, so you've got your worker that works in there. So I know it can be quite difficult to find um, people that are working in these sorts of places. So the figure comes in the kit. We've also got these round picnic tables. Um, now, again, I wanted to just experiment with a bit of shape again. We do do normal picnic tables, uh, but I thought it'd be really cool to do some round ones. So this comes with a pair of them. If you want more, you can buy them in sets of four mm. as well from the website. The link will be down below. Um, and then you also get your menu sign, you've got your Bud Light sign. That's, is that two one mil bits, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, together, yeah. yeah, so if any of you have watched our video, let's talk about mm. wood. This sign, it's actually it's really thin, but it's, it's actually two pieces of wood. So if you don't want it to be Bud Light, you put the two one mil bits the other way around, and the etched Bud Light will be on the inside, and the outside will be plain. And then you can make it whatever you want. Uh, without it being like six, eight, ten mm. millimeters wide, you could use it somewhere else on the track for certain completely Absolutely, different. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it, it could be, be somewhere be, else. Yeah, so yeah. with this, you could yeah. you could make it like saying um, beer barrel five hundred yards, and then have it pointed so all your race fans know exactly where to get their beers from. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, and then I think the best bit comes with a bin. Comes with a little bin as that's well. That's it. They need so somewhere to put everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and inside as well, there's a little um, little chair. Um, it's mm. inside, I can see it just yeah. inside there. Yeah. So when the workers do not have a queue, which isn't very often at a racetrack, they, they can, can have sit a little rest. Yeah, we've got to be thinking about <laughs> workers' rights. Um, and you've got so, another thing on your mind as well, haven't you? So yeah, you, to go with this, yeah. um, it's on what we call, I'll explain in a minute, on OTL. OTL, <laughs> OTL. Yeah. Uh, so that's our headache thing, but yeah. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but yeah, what was to go with this? It was You were going to try and release them at the same time, weren't you? Yes. But we just got busy with one thing and another. Yeah, so the other thing I, I've started, uh, but I'm nowhere near finishing, but it will be, we will be eventually. Yeah. Um, it's the chicken hut. Yeah. Um, so again, it's going to have that shape to it. It's going to have, have the same sort of feel um, and same sort of kit. Again, it's going to come with a figure. It's going to come with a chef holding well, a, like a of chicken. like a, a bucket shape this yes. time, isn't it? Rather that's than it. the think, uh, beer barrel. That's it. If you think about a KFC bucket, you get a bucket of chicken. Yeah. So you're going to be buying... Other chicken establishments are uh, yes. available. Yes, yeah, southern fried chicken and... <laughs> Eastern they, fried chicken they, and Northern they, fried chicken. Them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's going to have that bucket feel. Um, so you can buy chicken from a... And what's it, the name of it going to be called? We've got a little heads up on that one, haven't we? The Chicken Hut. I thought it was going to be called IFC. <laughs> yeah, we did chat. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be called IFC. So yeah. Ian's Fried Chicken. Ian's Fried Chicken. Yes. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's on, it's on, well, it's, on video now, so yeah. I can't not call it the IFC it's, now, can I? And it even comes with a... That, this one comes with a figure, and we've already sourced the figure for this one. Yes. And it even comes with a mini Ian holding... <laughs> Chicken leg, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my chef outfit with In a hat. Chef outfit. A chef hat. And it's going to be the ultimate, ultimate building for your track. Yes. When it's done. Yeah. Uh, so when we get that released, we will let you know as soon as possible. But it's yeah. it's uh, it's OTL. If, o yeah. um, I didn't I didn't know we were going to talk about OTL, yeah. but yeah, okay. It's like with our OTL means on the list. Yeah. Um, me and Ian and uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Tim, we've got a little WhatsApp group and it's called OTL. And any cool buildings that we see on our travels, we stick it on there. If any of you guys ask for the buildings, we stick it on there. And we've got like a list and it moves up and down. Um, and how much, how many have we got? It's probably, if you wrote it out, it'd probably be a list. Yeah, we, uh, on, on, my notes, on, my, on my notes on my phone, I have to scroll quite a bit yeah. to get to the bottom. It's like our reams range that we have. Um, uh, we have got, sorry, my alarm's going off. 
There we are. Um, <laughs> it's like our Reams range. We've got the what well, we got the hotel. Yeah. We've got the Dunlop Bridge. Um, we do have a Dunlop Bridge already. Don't we? The, the pub with a pagoda outside. It's the old school Dunlop Bridge. Oh yes. yes, the old school. We've already got the newer version, but yes, the yeah. old one that goes like that. It's way more. Uh, I suppose it's more of a natural shape of a tire. Where the the one we've got is yeah. like the Le Mans one. It's, it's like a stretched out tire. Yes. Um, but the one from Reams is very circular at the yeah. top. So that's so, on yeah. the list. The files are there. We just yeah. haven't uh, quite completed them yet. And there's a pub with a cool um, like pagoda area, mm. a viewing platform that's on the other side of the track. Um, and we've got that on the list as well. So if any of you are making a replica reams and really want those buildings, give us a message yep. and we'll let you know where they are on the list. And if enough of you enough of you ask, we can bunk that up the list and yes. get it out sooner. That's it. We're going to do the entire list eventually. Yes. Like I said, the more, the more requests we get for something, the the higher up that list it yeah. goes. So Mini and can only uh, do uh, yeah. uh, so much with the yes. buildings, especially to the quality we like. We, yes. um, it takes a while to get them re- refined and Absolutely. to the standard we like. Good. Anyway. So that's the beer barrel. Yeah. Um, that's about our OTL. So yeah, thanks very much. Um, check out Track Fans TV man, Pete. Um, he's doing he, some awesome videos at the moment. Really, he's really wanted, cool. uh Was it the other day? Was it last week? He yep. did it. That was really good. Okay. Yeah, really good. And it's about her painting as well. Yes. Actually, he spoke a lot about painting how to paint it. So yeah, check yep. that one out. Yeah, check that out. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for him. You've got any questions or comments? Ask us below. We will always reply as soon as we can. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, and I hope you've all subscribed. Bye. Bye.